it's going to be Kamala. I haven't talked about her in a while, so we're going to take a look at Kamala and see where is she? What's she doing? Has she disappeared? Is she going to do anything substantive? I don't know. If you like the video, I hope you do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please, please do subscribe. It helps me an awful lot. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Kamala Harris, let's face it, the vice president's job is sort of a thankless job. It doesn't seem as if they're doing much, and the president is the guy who gets all the spotlight. But let's take a look and see what we think is going on with Kamala. So she got a little taste. I mean, she got to be in the driver's seat for, what, a day, maybe, uh, when uh, Biden had his procedure. And uh, that's kind of like uh, learning how to drive and being able to back the car down the driveway. And then uh, mom or dad says, okay, that's it. Get out. We're done. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the Jungian Tarot, tarot uh, by Robert Wang. And so, very interesting uh, set of cards. So, the box. I always like to start with that. It's a nice, sturdy box. It's like a box that maybe perfume would come in. It's kind of that quality. And um, it's got an interesting story about these. Uh, Robert Wang developed the Jungian Tarot as a visual gateway into the complexities of Jungian psychology uh, to aid in the process of active imagination uh, proposed by Carl Jung in the 22 Major Arcana uh, represent Jungian archetypes of the collective unconscious. So it's interesting. So these um, Carl Jung actually developed these cards for use in psychoanalysis. Uh, the the so everything about them is very very thoughtful. Um, the uh, booklet is good. It talks a little bit here, and I'll just tell you quickly. Um, the Jungian tarot, tarot is a set of arch, uh, archetypical uh, images carefully uh, designed for use in a process which Carl Jung, one of the founders of the psychoanalytic uh, movement, called active imagination. It's hoped that the readers will find in these pictures a comfortable visual introduction to the principle of Jungian psychology and that they will be encouraged to seriously consider Dr. Jung's brilliant summation of the Western uh, uh, mystery tradition and his translation of its ideas into modern psychological terms. And what's interesting here is that the last part of this said uh, I like this. It says, in this regard, it should be understood that most current accepted systems of value assignment for, for regular tarot cards were arbitrarily developed by 19th century occult groups. I take, uh, I don't know about arbitrarily developed, but by 19th century occult groups, by contrast, the attributions to the Jungian tarot have been painstakingly researched in an effort to clearly relate tarot interpretation to the more ancient and traditional study of astrology and of the uh, Hermetic Kabbalah. So, I like it. And then the interpretations in, in here are very good, and they're in keeping with the typical uh, writer weight uh, interpretations, so you can fall back on that. The cards are a really good uh, stock of cards, and they're, uh, it, they have an interesting back. It's a, uh, they feature a lot of the cards on the back here. Um, they fit into your hands really well, uh, and uh, they work really well. So the one thing, I won't say that they're completely... Like you, they're, they're completely um, easy to interpret. Just because the uh, pr uh, val <laughs> the page, the knight, the king, and the queen are not clear to uh, interpret. Um, just because it's not clear that the queen is a queen and the king is a king, and the page. This is a page, for instance. So you might think, oh well, that's a queen, but no, it's not. So you have to figure that part of them out. And there's a couple other cards that are a little less um, intuitive to uh, figure out, but it's interesting to use these cards. And I use them when I've got a particularly um, psychological subject that I want to delve into. So I don't use them awfully that much, really. And I should, uh, because they work very well. It's surprising the interpretations you get out of these. So lots of thought was gone into Carl Jung's design of these cards. Uh, lots of thought was gone into Robert Wang uh, putting them into a tarot set. And uh, so here we go. They're, they're well worth uh, the uh, time and money, especially if you understand your uh, uh, Rider weight system of tarot. So Kamala Harris, okay, um, 
has she faded into the background? Is she just a wallflower? Or is she being prepared for what needs to happen next? We've got the tower card, and then uh, we've got uh, temperance here. So uh, this would represent uh, all the issues we have of the day, and this represents the steady hand that we have to have in moving forward. Beautiful. Good cards for Kamala right now. So Kamala Harris. So what is the story? Some feel like she's just been delegated to sort of a non, um, non-authoritative role, but I'm sure that um, she's being prepared for what um, needs to happen next. <laughs> so Kamala Harris, we're just going to do full Celtic cross to see if the cards can let us know what's in store for Kamala Harris. And I've left this uh, guidebook out for this deck because they're not always very, very clear as to what the cards represent. So I want to make sure that, um, that I use a good interpretation. So I'm not uh, shy about letting you know um, if I'm not clear on what a card is and making sure I do understand what we're working with before I move forward. So, Kamala Harris, what's in store for you? What kind of future do we have for you? Six cards for this full Celtic cross to begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, what can the cards let us know about your journey. Signifier card for Kamala Harris. Okay, so this is good. This is the Queen of Cups. As you know, cups are emotions, compassion, uh, uh, issues that really strike at our, our heart. Okay, so this queen is, in the, is floating in an ocean of emotion right here. Okay, she has a reasonable cup of compassion in her hand because her total existence is has to do with being surrounded by all of this uh, passion. So that's a good signifier card for Kamala. She's not the king. She is the queen right now in her position and, um, and a steady hand so she doesn't uh, spill any of that precious uh, knowledge in that cup. <coughs> the uh, uh, challenge to that then, oh gosh, so here we are. This is the devil, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. This is the devil card. So the devil tells us that uh, lesser intention, um, uh, our, our not greed, but uh, thinking that that we're more valuable than we are. Okay, that's the challenge to someone in the position that Camel is in. Understanding that you know we have to play our cards exactly right and don't let lesser intention uh, drag us uh, towards a dark um, uh, action okay, or intentions. So that's the challenge. I like that. The base of this reading for Kamala Harris. So this Three of Pentacles, yeah, that's exactly what we've got. So the Three of Pentacles is building something together in a partnership for public display. This is value, okay? And this is, you know, we're not, we don't have a Ten of, of Pentacles. We don't have a Nine of Pentacles. We're going to Three of Pentacles. We're the beginnings of some, or, or an adornment to something uh, uh, bigger, uh, to come along and still guided by an equal measure of compassion. The past of this reading, Camel Harris, ah, the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups are lovers and uh, partnerships. And this for me is representing her partnership with Joe Biden. You know, when you're in a, in a partnership, you have to understand where is your weakness, where is your strength, and where is your partner's weakness, and where is their strength, and be willing to play your part to uh, support uh, the one that you're um, uh, accompanying along this journey. You notice that these two cups are floating in an ocean of compassion, just like this Queen of Cups. The sky in this reading, how many do we have here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of swords. Nine of swords is a, a nightmare, okay? <clears throat> so with a black moon in the sky, we understand that we have to, or she, I should say, has to look at what is the worst uh, outcome that can happen and be aware of that. Understand the nightmare that can be hanging over our heads. In the um, likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross, then, is this Six of Wands. Very good uh, card to get here because the Six of Wands is victory. And we see that these wands, these actions, these plans, these motions are lit up 
They're lighting the way. They're on fire. Okay, they're ready to claim their victory. Okay, so that's a very good place to be in this reading for Kamala Harris. Uh, let's get the last four cards of this out there. I'm not going to shuffle. I'm just going to spread them out. The first card for the self of that question, what's in store for Kamala Harris? How many do we have here? Eight, nine, ten of uh, wands. So uh, wands, again, are motions, actions, uh, forward moving. And I just want to consult uh, my cheat sheet right here to make sure I'm considering all the yeah, all the, the so responsibilities, burdens, uh, so oppression. So all of those are associated with this Ten of Wands. Okay, so uh, that's the signifier card of this, understanding really all the responsibility for the actions uh, that are, are uh, within her power. Uh, the environment that that's in, then, is this uh, Fool's Journey. This is the Fool. This is the beginning of a journey. And so... So this is in the environment of just the beginning, really, of a journey for her. The position she is in is just the beginning of what's laying ahead. Okay, so understanding all these actions that are uh, at your disposal is uh, this fool's journey. Uh, the hopes and the fears for this, then, look at that. An ace of wands, an ace of actions. Okay, so just reinforcing here that, um, you know, the hopes and the fears for this is that we understand the power, the fire, the passion that goes along with this uh, awesome responsibility that uh, that is hers, even in the position she's in now. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing for Kamala Harris is, ah, the tower moment. So what does that mean? So the tower moment is, is, a, is an end to an issue. Okay, something new has to be struck out from that rubble. So I don't know. It makes me think right away that could something happen to uh, the president um, in a re-election bid? Could it be that she uh, has to overtake him? I don't know. But uh, this is the caution of this reading for Kamala Harris. So this reading comes with plenty of caution for her. She starts out with this queen, this queen of cups, a queen of compassion. Okay, a steady hand on an ocean of emotion. Uh, she's challenged. Uh, by this uh, devil, uh, making sure that lesser intention doesn't uh, uh, influence uh, your your path. Uh, the three of pentacles underpinning this is understanding that we're putting together something valuable for public display. In the in the past of this reading, we come to this into this as a partnership, uh, again loaded with compassion, which is how they came into their uh, power. Up in the sky, of this uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of swords again is um, you know the awesome. Uh, truth, justice, rules, law uh, that have to go along with this. And the likely outcome of this whole thing with the six of wands is a victory. Okay, so that is a victory. But the self of the question here is with this eight, nine, ten of wands is understanding the embattlement uh, that uh, we're responsible for, that we're likely to run into as we start on this new journey with this fool. And we have, for the hopes and the fears, that would be the hope that we take this action and understand the awesome fire that's in our hand but at the same time, you know, with this tower card, it could be that there's some ominous um, occurrence uh, the, that can be in her path as she moves forward. So this is a cautionary tale for Kamala Harris. What do you think? Um, you know, I try to put lots of meditation into that and thought uh, before I get into these videos. So I hope that it uh, was something meaningful and gave you, you know, an idea of, of how this is going forward. And listen, I'm not saying I know everything or anything, as a matter of fact. I just uh, am amazed at how um, these things uh, turn up. So let me know what you think. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.